Hello, Moritz Dani here, once more from the Comprion HQ in the wonderful Paderborn, Germany. And in case you just found us, we are the number one in solutions, services and consulting when it comes to testing of smartphones, eSIMs, payments and NFC. So today we are going to get our hands on some hardware, the Minimove to be more precise. And the question is, how do we connect this tiny ZIM to the Minimove in order to monitor its communication. But let me elaborate on that problem. In the past, you could simply remove the UICC from, for example, the smartphone or a board or whatever you're testing with, but that's not possible anymore because now the EUICCs are soldered in and, you know, they're stuck and you have to solder it out and put a new one in if you need to test you know, several eSIMs from different manufacturers. This wastes so much time, but we have a handy solution for that. Let's have a look. Equipment-wise, this is what we need. But don't worry, we have to solder at least one thing and that is the flex adapter to the board or the smartphone, whatever you need. And once we got that done, we can connect the flex adapter to the mini move. Now, before we do anything else, we insert the zim into the fitting slot and close the hatch. And you're gonna see in a bit why we need to do this step first. So. Next, we need to put in the PISA M2M into the Minimove adapter. We insert the PISA M2M into the respective slot of the Minimove, start the Minimove, start the board, start the session, easy. Now we can monitor to our heart's content. And if we want to switch them, we can simply do so by opening the hatch and exchange the EYCC. Pretty handy. See you in the next one.